Did you know Mr. Beast has completely neglected one of his most valuable employees? It isn't Carl, Chandler, Chris, or even Jimmy's mom. This unsung hero drives billions of views and has gone overlooked for far too long. My plan is simple. Make a song from this individual's perspective, produce a music video for it that thrusts this person into the spotlight in hopes of Mr. Beast finally recognizing this person's value. Who is it, you ask? Oh, it's that metal briefcase Jimmy's always giving money out of? Wait. This briefcase alone has made Jimmy famous and gets no love for some reason. So my only goal is to get a comment like this from Mr. Beast. Oh, and I'm proud to say that for the first time ever, this video is sponsored by Shopify. This story truly began a few weeks ago when Ryan Trahan responded to a DM that I sent him. In the DM was a song that I made for him. So I'm really bad at singing. Which led to my complete disbelief when he used the song I made him in almost every episode of his Penny series. I was on a run a few days later. Hey Jim, how you doing? And my neighbor mentioned that he thought the Ryan Trahan song could have been better. Jill! This isn't my neighborhood. But that comment did get me thinking. There's gotta be another YouTuber who could really benefit from my singing voice. <laughs> and then I thought of someone who doesn't get any attention on YouTube. Mr. Beast. Mr. Mr. Beast. No! <laughs> Mr. Beast! Mr. Beast is good. He doesn't need any more stuff. But then I realized that if anyone deserves a song, it's Jimmy's briefcase. That thing's the backbone of the whole channel. I felt like I could hear the song in my head. <laughs> also, the fact that the words Jimmy and money are both five letters was pretty exciting. Look how excited I am. With that in mind, it was time to make a song. And I think Daniel's favorite part about all of it is sitting next to me as I sing passionately. We came up with some really amazing song ideas. He has money and Unfortunately, this one was a clear failure. Money, money. Money, money. All we need to do is just start completely over. Yeah. <laughs> Double failure. Oh my gosh. I feel like Neo. I feel like Usher. J Beebs. Giveon. J I M M Y. Ray Charles, Frank Ocean, Steve from Blue's Clues, M -O -N Emerald, Billie Eilish, Aretha Franklin, Leonardo DiCaprio. Definitely the best the attempt was still a failure. We listened through so many samples, but then I found this one. Whoa. I like that. I like it at all. All right, I'll download this. Okay. Oh my Somehow the song started to take shape, but more importantly, we decided what the briefcase's name was going to be. I'm Briefcase. I'm Mr. Brief. Mr. Mr. Brief. That's funny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Brief! Maybe you're thinking, okay, what, is this like a talking briefcase or something? No. Okay, we're not children. He's a four-inch tall man that lives inside this briefcase. Yes! Then I went over to my friend David's house to get some help producing the song as well as writing some lyrics. I explained to David that overall Mr. Brief just feels very unappreciated, which helped us come up with lyrics like this. I feel it in my core and I deserve more. Oh! So I wrote this song. Oh, it's a single <laughs> With David's touch, the song was sounding kind of beautiful to be honest, but I may have ruined it a little bit because I really love gang vocals. It's my boy J I M M I. Love David could also make this sound better. Come on in. So I invited him over without telling Daniel because David was actually his camp counselor and this is their first time seeing each other in 12 years. They have never met, actually. <laughs> it's kind of funny how much better David made our gang vocals sound and just the whole song in general. But there's no way Mr. Beast is gonna be this excited if this song doesn't have a music video. And you can't have a music video without costumes. So Daniel's outside setting up the blue screen, but maybe you're asking yourself, wait, why isn't it green screen? Well, it's not green because I'm wearing green. Oh. The idea here is Mr. Brief wears green all the time. And shocker, I'm going to play Mr. Brief in the music video, but don't worry because I'm gonna keep this brief. 
Oh yeah, and something happens to me when I put on costumes. <laughs> Baby, Mr. Brief, where's this kind of shit? Ah, hey, hey, no, 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 no. No photos, no photos, no photos, please. Floppy pirate shirt for him. Please, no photos. Tony, put the pizza in the oven. You like money? I know you do. I can see it in your face. I'm just like you, but I'm Jonah Hill. We landed on this costume as Mr. Brief's main uniform. Okay, but for the music video, you want to put this tiny green dude in a briefcase. How do you do that? Well, all you need is a blue screen and a backyard. Guys, it's happening! Yeah. For the first shot of the music video, we needed the camera elevated so we could get an over-the-shoulder perspective of Mr. Brief. This would serve as our main shot throughout the music video. We also wanted shots of Mr. Brief interacting with different parts of the briefcase. So this shot, the hope is to crawl up out of the sleeve that's within the briefcase. And he's gonna look like this. Like a 70s, like, stepdad. Yeah, that's, yep. Yeah. Get that shot, boy. Get that shot, boy. Get that, hey! All right, now you guys, we're gonna do the couch money shot. Right now, it just looks like Blue's Clues couch. But soon, it will look like Bill Gates' couch. Nice. That was really good. Thank you. Every once in a while. What do you want behind you right now? Uh, Spain. Croissants, Pillsbury Doughboy, Kool-Aid Man. Okay, That's, no, you only got four. Bill Clinton. This next shot was challenging. We wanted Mr. Brief on top of the briefcase. It wasn't challenging because I needed to get on the roof. It wasn't challenging matching the lines of the briefcase to the lines of the house. It was challenging because upper body strength. All right, Daniel made me hold this for too long. Being a YouTuber is pretty hard. But I did it. Then went back up to the roof to throw out some fake money, which ironically cost like $40. As I was doing this, I couldn't help but wonder, where exactly does Mr. Beast get all this money to give away in the first place? He works with cool brands, just like Shopify. Just like I'm doing now. Wait, is this video sponsored? Yes, this video is sponsored by those great people at Shopify. Oh my gosh, this is your first sponsor. They offer an easy to use All in one commerce platform Oh, sounds expensive Wrong, it's actually affordable With the $5 starter plan Yeah, but who's that for? Anyone starting a business Easy, no code, setups quick Perfect for sharing products on social Okay, that's kinda cool Sign up today for a free trial now at Shopify.com slash Prestigos Did Shopify say we're allowed to sing? No. Sign up today for free trial now at Shopify.com slash Prestigos So I also bought this disco ball helmet because if this music video was actually going to get Mr. Beast's attention, it would need one big moment that shined above the rest. Isn't that awesome? Dude. Little spoiler, it might be the coolest visual we've ever put together. The plan was to have Daniel flip the switch on the light and start spinning me while I was lip syncing. So the thought is this light's gonna hit the disco ball at the perfect moment, and then it's just gonna be... I think the word is chaos? Yep. Oh, and we're gonna fog this place up. This is fog juice. Oh, God, I don't know when it's like supposed to stop. Fog it up! Wow. Since we had limited fog juice, we decided to just go ahead and shoot it, and we could not believe what we were seeing in the camera. Oh my, that was the coolest thing I've ever been part of. Are you kidding me? But you'll have to watch the music video to see it. The time had finally come for Mr. Beast to meet Mr. Brief, and the only way that was gonna happen would be with you. Life's most fulfilling thing. So we made a TikTok about the injustice of Mr. Brief, with the goal of our Mr. Beast comment coming from those views. Posting on TikTok in three, two, TikTok's at 4,600. That's not, not what we want. Failure. Posting attempt number two in three, two, one. 2,000 views. Double, Double fail. fail. I think I'm gonna write a song that's basically telling him to check his DMs. Cause I wrote you a song, not this one. It's at 600, 600 views, so. Still a failure. This isn't necessarily working. So this isn't necessarily. Yeah, you get it. Which is why we put our final efforts into the music video, seeing it as our last shot of securing the comment. So we're basically taking photos. We're gonna put Mr. Brief on top of them. Daniel crushed the lighting here. The lighting is going to sell this completely. Hey, Preston. 
Just keep it brief, okay? <laughs> After finding all of the perfect angles, the editing process began and the results were shocking. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude. That, wow. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. This <laughs> just for context. Will Jimmy ever see this? I hope so. But even if he doesn't, the fact that two friends can make something like this in a backyard and have a place like YouTube to share it, it's just the coolest thing. So, without further ado, I present to you the Mr. Brief music video. He loves that 